Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do, I'm in my cozy PJs and today we're gonna do a clean and decorate with me. I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna show you the areas that we will be decorating today. So um, we're gonna do my table. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a very simple ta tablescape for Christmas. We are also going to decorate the kitchen. So simple decor because like you guys, I live in my kitchen and I can't have a ton of stuff around. And then we're also going to do our bookcase hutch area. I'm going to show you guys a simple way to decorate that. So I am going to be doing three clean and decorate videos with me. So the first one will be kind of kitchen um, items. The second one will be my children's bedrooms. And then the third one will be the master bedroom. And then I will be doing a Christmas home tour. So I got, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And I would love, love, love if you would join my YouTube family. Um, but let's get started. So guys, the first area we will be doing is our my table. I'll be wiping it down, wiping all of the chairs down. You know, God, I always have these wreaths on the back of my chair. They are from um, Hobby Lobby. Anything that I can link, you know, I can't link like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. You see all of the decor in the background. But anything that I can link, I will link for you guys. Um, they will be linked down below but we're gonna be doing my table first, and then this little area. We're gonna be decorating this for Christmas, and then this is some of the decor that I think I'm gonna use, but like I said, there is stuff all around me, so I'm gonna be grabbing from all of those areas, real life people. And then OMG, all of the stuff from the kitchen is up here, but we will also be doing the kitchen area. So this is the before. And guys, now I am switching over to voiceover, but I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. Um, hello, like I said earlier, my name is Dream. I am a Southern California mama of two. I um, love being on YouTube and offering cleaning and decorating and decor motivation, all of that fun stuff. But I do want to say while I love decorating, it is one of my hobbies and my passions. Having your home decorated and all of this stuff does not is not necessarily needed to make it magical for the holidays. The holidays truly are about the people and the time that you spend with family and friends. So while this stuff is a blast to do and just oh so much fun, just know it is not necessarily needed to make your holidays magical. Um, I have switched over. I am done wiping everything down and I am going to fiddle with these two pieces of burlap for a little bit and you will see that I didn't, it didn't quite come out the way I thought, but I finally find um, a solution that works best for me. But let me know down in the comments below, did you like the two pieces or the one that I chose? Was too certain for shepherds in fields as they lay. So this year with my tablescape, I wanted to have it be a bit more simple. Last year, it was a little bit, um, I had a lot going on. So this year, I wanted to scale it back a bit and just have some natural elements there. So I love the trees that I chose, um, the candles, the natural tone of the burlap, and then you're going to see I added a little pop of red and then more natural tones. I'm going to add in some pine cones that I DIY'd a few years ago and added a little bit of glitter to them. Um, in my home tour, I will go into more detail where I picked everything up, but down below any items that I can um, 
put down there for you guys have the links I will make sure that I link those items down below I do shop a lot at the Target dollar spot and Hobby Lobby and Michaels so any items that I can find to link I will do so and here are those pine cones I made a few years back I just use um, glue and glitter and I always just store them in this old Target bag and they have held up great and you'll see that I use them throughout my home but I'm just gonna place those um, around my table just to add a little bit of glitz and then I will be done with this area for now later you will see I will go back and do the place settings And for my tablescape, I am loving the way it turned out. I just need to go back and add the table, the place settings. I always do the two at the end so we can still eat at the table. I need to add those later on. And I just added this plaid pillow. It has gray stripes and I thought it gave it a really cute touch. So now I am going to jump over to my bookcase and I am going to decorate that. These are the items that I'm going to use. I love these little ho, ho, ho um, uh, containers that I got from um, Home Goods. They are Ray Dunn and I'm showing you that I used a little ramekin in there to lift it up. And I'm gonna go get some, a little piece of tissue because I wanted it to be at an angle and the tissue helped it be at the perfect angle that I wanted and I will throw in some pine cones with the decorating a bookshelf or a hutch I like to work in a um, zigzag formation so I have a pop of red in this corner I'm gonna angle it and try to do some sort of pop of red on the house and then angle it again and do some sort of pop of red on the books that I have here down on the third shelf. I think that it just gives it a cohesive nature and it helps it all flow well together and it makes the eyes move. So I like to work in a zigzag pattern and I think it keeps it uniform. So as you can see that wreath did not want to stay but I added a piece of tape to the top and it worked perfectly. All the other items in this bookcase area are items that are always there. I'm just adding to it to add a little splash of Christmas. And we are finally at the end. We are doing the top portion and I'm just keeping this really simple and just adding a little bit of greenery. My R that I usually have up here, some um, vintage canisters, moss balls, and then I'm going to try to add a splash of red in this corner to keep with that B pattern and to keep the eyes moving and engage and just to keep it interesting. Um, next, we are going to move on to the kitchen and I will show you how everything turned out and I am absolutely loving it and I love all the neutral tones that I have and those bold pops of red. It really makes me get into the holiday spirit. They keep being their sheep on a cold winter. And guys, I whipped up some um, table settings really quick for you guys. I just used two chargers, a silver one, which I've had for a while from Michaels. Um, this um, natural material one, and that is from Hobby Lobby, a white plate. I used some leftover ribbon I had and then threw a little piece of greenery on there from Hobby Lobby. And I think it looks really pretty and it gives it another little extra pop of red, but, but still keeping with all my neutral tones. And guys, I was not fibbing. My little one is up, but it is a real struggle in my house. There is decor everywhere so just because it looks beautiful over here the rest of the house is crazy and there is my little one trying to navigate through my pile with her ornaments that she picked out so cute but yeah it's like crazy over here that was so deep no so now we have made our way officially over to the kitchen and I'm gonna give everything a good wipe down with that peppermint spray. And then I am going to return all of the decor back. I lost a huge chunk of footage. So in the next clip, you'll see 
half of it done, but I will give you guys an overview of everything and how it turned out. Also, in my little glass jars that I get from Target, I wind up doing a little vignette um, in there with some berries and some cones. Um, this little house, I thought it was a little bit too much like wording going on, so I just flipped around the top and I think it looks really cute there with the um, trees next to it. So here I'm gonna add some berries and then my bag of pine cones, DIY pine cones again. Um, but yeah, I like the way everything turns out, turned out and the hints of red and all the Santa is just so cute and so nostalgic. And here is everything all complete and I hope you guys like all of just the simple Christmas decor I added to my kitchen to make it super special for our little family. Um, I still need to fill up the hot cocoa and marshmallows, but I will do those. I am obsessed with those little Santa mugs I got last year from Target. They have some um, different ones this year. They have these ones, and then they have a little brown Santa, which I thought was so cute. But um, I hope you guys love everything that I put out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, part two will be up next week where we will be um, cleaning and decorating the kids' rooms. So um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.